Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and I hold loads of votes on my Instagram so you guys can vote on who I react to. Also, please do check out my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Beth Roars, where you can get some more exclusive content. You can get early access to my podcast and you can also find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. Now, all my reactions at the moment are based on my podcast and this one is because of podcast guest Morgan James who talks about the soul in music and one of the people she names is one of my favourite singers ever, Jeff Buckley. So let's give him a listen. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do you? Do ya? I love his little nuances of do ya. There's little scoops up and down. Now, he is someone who has so much control and technique, yet is not afraid of fragility and vulnerability and ugliness in his singing. He allows ugly sounds to happen because he is echoing humanity and human emotions, and human emotions are messy. Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, so fast, I love it. and the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah, He's... hallelujah. Now, he has great control of tone and registers. As he gets higher, you don't really notice as to what point in his range he is. It sounds stable, it sounds controlled. He has quite a light tone and he keeps that light tone going all the way down and all the way up. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the vibrato the whole way through the note. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty and the moonlight overthrew you. Through you. And she tied Those you little slides again. Her kitchen chair. Up to the top note. And she broke your throne and she cut your hair. And from your lips she drew. Beautiful. I love that, how he is crescendoing it, he's building the tension, and then suddenly he draws back. Now, this song is actually, it's quite repetitive there. It's the same melody, so it is really, really up to the singer and the artist to uh, take the audience on a journey. Otherwise, it's just the same thing again and again and again, and Jeff, well, we'll see as it gets later on, but he is teasing us, giving us a little glimpse into what may happen later in the song, but he's not there yet. And of course, he is son of uh, Tim Buckley. Mmm, little bluesy scale. Yeah, well, baby, I've been baby. I've seen this room. It's these little things that make it different every time. Instead of, baby, I've been here before. Baby, just playing around with the rhythm, how you attack it, whether you slide, whether you make a staccato or legato. The way that you use these nuances define your own unique vocal style and everyone has their own way of painting that picture, of using those nuances. So as a singer, it's important to find yours. When I've walked this floor, I used to live alone before I knew. And I've seen your flag on the marble arch And love is not a victory march It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah uh, Again, he did it more this time though And I love his little slides as the notes Cold and 
is a broken. It feels cold and broken because he's going through that vibrato and sliding off the notes. And then modifying the melody. Well, there was a time when you let me know what's really going on below. You know what's important when you are modifying things and you're playing around with things? It's so important to do that, to experiment. But when you're performing, it's also really important that you're doing this for a reason. You're not just holding on to that note because it feels like a you want to show off there it really felt like he was clinging on to a moment of beauty he was clinging on to that hallelujah so therefore he held on that note and he clinged on to that feeling it, it kind of makes sense within the storyline oh, but now you never show that to me do you well, remember when and it's so understated, it's not loud. And the holy dove was moving too, and every breath you drew was hallelujah. And then the loud means something. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, interesting. A minor darkness in there. I love that. Don't you think that conjures up so many images? Like, what to you does that mean? I, I think that there he does the thing. I mean, to him, it probably he probably has a very definite image of what he is trying to express. But actually, what the effect is is that everyone will see that moment in the story differently. I am a very visual person, so I kind of really, really see this relationship happening and that moment was just haunting. It's like the moment maybe that you realize it's not as beautiful as you first thought it was. I feel like that's what it is to me. And who knew a sound could express so much, you know? So he's here in almost silence there's not much going on it's so like everyone is dead silent listening to it and it's a real vulnerable position for a musician to be in in some ways it's easier to really push into a song really sing and give it your all but here he's letting it be letting it hang in the air he completely embodies music and lets it tell its story without trying to force it into a certain route. It's very special. And playing with the quiet is so important. Is a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who outdrew you. And it's not a cry that you hear at night It's not somebody who's seen the light It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Like purposely broke his voice and broken Hallelujah Hallelujah This is 
what I mean about embracing the ugly signs. He's really embracing the ugliness of that side because it sounds desperate. It sounds like he really just wants to hold on to something. Hallelujah. 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 It doesn't fit within like technique. Or beautiful singing. It's not meant to be beautiful. It's meant to be full of expression. And to me, that's my favorite type of singing. It's not the bottle. It's not her face. It's not the needle or the vial. It's not the powder on the evening. We're strangers, and there are many thinking back to the time when you were together. So honest, so perfect, and adored. No more, no more. Hallelujah, baby. Until. and the vocal part. There's just how he swaps between hallelujah, really open and beautiful and almost choral. The baby lets it be like croaky and uh, human. It's like someone in between heaven and hell. <laughs> it's human. Until she is everywhere. Hallelujah. Yeah. Two together. I'm playing a w around with light and dark. So interesting after it's so being so light the whole way. Good night, everybody. Such an interesting singer. Everything feels so organic and natural and is never forced, yet it has so much intensity in it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Also, please do check out the podcast with Morgan. You can find that in all the podcast places. See you in the next one. Bye.